tonight. Two NFL legends sharing the same field today. The Cardinals, Emmitt Smith and Jerry Rice making his Seahawks debut after that big trade with the Oakland Raiders earlier this week. And a look high above Sun Devil Stadium here in Tempe, Arizona. And there is Jerry Rice. Figures to get some more time today. More than expected with Bobby Ingram. Their number three wide receiver, Ert, hurt and unavailable. He sprained left ankle, and now Rice is inserted here on a third and long play. Yeah, great comment by Hasselbeck in the meeting yesterday when he mm -hmm. talked about, hey, when he stepped on the field, he raised the level of play of everybody else around him. Nobody was dropping balls. In fact, the only guy that did all week was Jerry himself. Here's Hasselbeck under center on third down at six. Arizona coming hard with the blitz up the middle. Hasselbeck over the middle. It's caught inside the 35-yard line. By who? Is Jerry Rice. His first catch is the Seahawks, making his Seattle debut today, and that's enough for the Seahawks' first down. Gotta love that. First catch as the Seahawks goes for a first down into tight coverage. He's got protection once again, but you're going to see Jerry Rice right up here in the slot use that big physical body of his against the smaller Ronaldo Hill. It creates just enough separation for Matt to put the ball in there and pick up a first down. Hopefully they won't give up eight passing touchdowns. Jerry Rice. And Rice's first catch of the afternoon, his second as a Seahawk, and he gets a nice ovation from the crowd. You've got to appreciate how well this Seattle offense is working. Just a three-step drop off the play action. Hasselbeck doesn't have any pressure. Rice just doesn't stop, and they're being very conservative, very methodical, but they're working the ball right down the field. Of course, the opening drive, they worked it down for a touchdown. And then their second drive, the only thing that stopped it was Daryl Jackson fumbling the ball after the catch. Early on in the second quarter, San Francisco on top 14-7, and Jerry Rice comes out onto the field. He'll play wide receiver, much to the delight of several of the people who uh, wore the old red Rice jersey here. Well, I guess they wore the white Raider one, too. Well, you talked to him before the game, Kurt, and he was excited. Me? A, a Simpson-y? Um, I'm a Simpson freak, whatever it's called. Play fake. Jerry Rice makes his first catch. Rice gets a nice ovation from the crowd. And that's what you would expect after Jerry Rice had so many spectacular performances here in San Francisco and really led the way with the, the football dynasty of the 80s and 90s here in this town. Told me so many memories came flooding back just pulling up to the stadium today on the bus. Crowd doing its job. And the quick pass and the slant to Jerry Rice. And they appear short of the first down by less than a yard. And on the tackle was Tommy Polly and a big tackle for the Rams there. This is going to be one of those decisions that's going to be very difficult because I, I agree. I think this is a little bit short. It's kind of that we've seen so many the last few weeks. You get into that area where it's going to be a pretty long field goal attempt and you can get great field position to your opponent. Will Poole is an extra defensive back. There are four receivers, second down and five. And Dilfer again right on the money to the 35-yard line. A catch by Jerry Rice. He then slides to the 34. He was brought down on the play by Reggie Howard, a gain of nine. Another Seattle first down. Watch the veteran's body and how he positions himself between the quarterback and Howard, the defensive back. See him turn those that 80, the numbers to the quarterback. There's nothing Howard can do besides come over the top, and he didn't do it. Good reception, nice throw. Two tight ends, second down 19. They've got to get to the three, and the handoff fake going to Morris, and Delta rears back and throws. Jerry Rice has caught a touchdown. Touchdown number 206. Say it, Jerry Rice catches the ball, gets in position for this pass, folks. That, that pass is made by Trent Dilfer. Watch it come zipping in. Sure, Jerry's open. But an absolute laser thrown by Dilford, the perfect spot. And I still say and have for a long time, I, I think he's the greatest football player that's ever played this game. Has caught now 195 touchdown receptions, but 206 total. Here's Jerry Rice. Here's Sammy. Sammy Knight. Watch what Sammy Knight goes back like this. Jerry Rice 
comes and Sammy Knight undercuts him. And when he undercuts him, Jerry Rice is wide open for that touchdown. Can't get back and help quick enough. Nice throw by Dill. Second down and eight from the six-yard line. And Dilfer throws. It's caught by Jerry Rice. And the Hall of Famer Trevia is off to the races. Chased by Madison, who tries to punch the ball away. He does bring him down. 37-yard line of Miami. A 52-yard catch and run by the greatest player, perhaps, in the history of the NFL, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice today. Not that he needed to prove anything to anybody. But he has more than justified Mike Holmgren signing him. Look at that. He's thinking about ball. He knows Madison's going to try to knock it out. He catches that ball, keeps his concentration. And he has saved some bacon on this drive. Urban taking his place on this first and ten handoff to Alexander, who was brought down by Moore, and he works his way for a gain of two to the 37. Numbers that were... Maybe never be equal. Well, I mean, we talk about Marvin Harrison. He went over 800 last week in the game we did with, with them in Houston. Okay? Great. Only 750 or so to go to get Jerry. And listen to this crowd. Guy's been here a month. <laughs> He's already won them over. The Seahawks down on their home field. Hasselbeck fires hard over the middle, nicely connected to the great Jerry Rice. As some people call Steve the greatest football player in NFL history at any position. Well, I'll tell you what, he's he's close to it. He's certainly the best wide receiver to ever put on a helmet. And you see there, these are the reasons. 206 career touchdowns. That's that's 195 of those receiving. He's run for a few. Right here. I mean, that's 11. That's unbelievable. 200 touchdowns. Almost 197 of them have been passing plays. He's rushed for six of them. He said the guys say, "What do you? How's that taste? What we're having? It tastes like brisket." He said, "Well, it's raccoon." He said that kind of cleared the room out. Here's a throw to the sideline, and Rice comes down with the ball on a third down catch. Jerry Rice had a good game last week in the win over Miami for the Hawks. Three receptions. 86 yards and a touchdown. Jerry Rice coming into this game needed 31 yards of any kind of offense, running, catching, to be the top leading NFL record holder for most combined yards from scrimmage. And he's got 30 right now. Third down and one, and they're going to throw it. And Hasselback has some time. Has to roll out now. And then throws into the end zone with a flag. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but Dallas is going to contend that Jerry Rice pushed off. So for the moment, you've got Rice in for what he thinks is six, but let's see about the call. There was clearly contact. Nathan Jones is the defensive back. He is a rookie out of Rutgers against a 20-year all-timer. Defense. against the rookie only Jerry Rice on Monday night he was open early on this one you see him right here he's the inside receiver very good coming off the line of scrimmage but you see he was wide open all the way Hasselbeck had to scramble out to his right and that gave Jerry Rice a little time to see that he was scrambling and then worked back to the inside his receivers started dropping balls on well you, know, you try and say the right things and do the right things but it's tough Third and nine, and that pass, Jerry Rice reaching out, makes the catch. Jerry Rice at the age of 42, still covered well, down the sideline, pass a little bit in front of him, is able to fingertip it, and beats Lance Frazier and Roy Williams on the play. That's right, just Jerry Rice out here, and you're going to see that hole right there in the cover, too, between the short corner and the safety, and he hit him perfectly in that hole. I was watching practice the other day, and they were throwing this pass a lot. That once you get by the corner, before you get to the safety, you have about a five-yard gap. That's, that's what I would get. Well, you know, Parcells came the closest because he took New England to the Super Bowl but didn't win it. He took the Jets to the AFC Championship game as Jerry Rice makes the catch, but they throw underneath. Last couple of plays, he fumbled the one before that and then dropped that pass. 13 carries, 39 yards, three yards a carry. And Mr. Jerry Rice makes his presence known again. Scored a touchdown earlier in the game. Covered there by Terrence Newman. Just called it on Ellis and let Seattle run a play. First and five. 
Hasselbeck throws. Catch is made. Rice at the seven yard line. And a first and goal now for Seattle on a very big drive. Very important. This is the thing that Hasselbeck is a is a streak passer, and that's what Bill Parcells was worried about. Is 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 the guy does get get hot, and you see they had two receivers on that side. The inside guy went to the outside. The outside guy came underneath. Matt Hasselbeck had good pass protection and hit him perfectly. From the 28-yard line now, Hasselbeck to the outside. That's caught. Rice makes a catch. Jerry Rice with six catches tonight. Newman covers. This this is when you need these players. If they're great players, they play great now and win games. Second and four. Hasselback has that one caught by Jerry Rice. Oh, can you believe that? No. Because Bobby Ingram was in the same area. Jerry Rice and Bobby Ingram were in the same area. I wasn't sure who Hasselback was even throwing that one to. We talk about great players that make plays. You see Jerry Rice is the outside receiver right there. And you see Ingram is coming across. Ingram thought he was throwing to him. Jerry Rice just cuts right in front of him and catches the ball. He got so excited the old mouthpiece came flying out. Have to go 75 yards in 28 seconds. No timeouts. Hasselbeck starts deep over the middle. Jerry Rice makes the catch. Loses the football at the 46 yard line, but no, they're going to stay down. The play is over, but they can't stop the clock. They've got to get up there and spike it. Spike it, and then maybe one more play. Down to single digits. He's got to spike it, and he does it here. So, barring a penalty on the defense, I don't know how they can get it into the end zone without getting it in on this play. Here's Jerry Rice's catch. He catches it on that back shoulder. And he's trying to get it up to the front when he gets unloaded on by that win. Jerry Rice is limping off the field. That hurt. So he can't be in on the final, what figures to be the final play of the game. Problem was they got down 10 nothing early. They start with a throw, and it's Jerry Rice's first catch of the day. And Rice is out to the 27. Ryan Russell on the stop. And I think when you talk about Seattle and what Mike Holmgren has said and saying that, hey, we want to shorten the game, and yeah, that's true. He understands that his defense is struggling. He doesn't want him out on the field. He doesn't want him giving up a lot of points. But then at the same time, if Minnesota does score and you're not moving the football by running it, then you do have to get more into a passing mode, which is definitely what happened there in that first half. New Orleans has come back to tie Dallas 10-10 and Jacksonville with a seven-point lead on the Bears. Hasselback with plenty of time and he completes it over the middle. Another first down and again it's Jerry Rice. Pass is complete. Jerry Rice has a few in the second half. That's good for five yards and second down and five for Seattle. Hassel back over the middle. It's Rice again. Jerry Rice with four catches in this half. Shaw on the tackle. Good for 17 yards. And Terrence Shaw, he's aware of Jerry Rice because they played together a couple years ago when the Raiders went to the Super Bowl. But watch the route running ability of Jerry Rice. And he gets Shaw turned all around and gets separation. And it goes back to what I was saying a little bit earlier. Sometimes you don't have to have great speed or great quickness in order to run good routes and still create separation. On first down, Hasselbeck rolls right, throws back across the field to Rice. And Jerry Rice is down to the 15. Rolling right, throwing back toward the middle of the field. Chavis on the stop after an 18-yard completion. I think Hasselbeck is so effective when you're able to get him out on the perimeter and put pressure on a defense because he can really run. And then you've got Jerry Rice. And again, linebacker level in those zones. Of course, you got Brian Russell who's trying to keep up with him. But these play action type things when you've got receivers running crossing routes have been the nemesis for this Vikings defense through the air the last two games. And they start with a throw and it's into the hands of Jerry Rice who was wrapped up immediately brought down by Barrett after a gain of eight. We look at this offensive line. 
Looks like a rare audible, audible from Hasselbeck who fires in the pass. A one-handed grab by Rice. He can still do it as Jerry Rice quiets down this crowd with a one-handed catch to put Seattle on top. Well, that's Jerry Rice against T Terrell Buckley. Terrell Buckley was beaten often last week. The question is, does he have it and does he have both feet in bounds? It looked to me like he did. He brought it in one-handed, brought it in and cradled it to his body. Does he have possession? I would say that's a touchdown. Terrell Buckley got beat again on the play. Defensively, we have to start getting off the field. He recognizes Seattle as a high-scoring offense and that if we could stay plastered to their receivers, then perhaps we can get some pressure on Hasselbeck. Back to you. All right, Pam, thanks. A completion out to Jerry Rice. And it'll bring up third down and short for Seattle. You know, it's interesting watching Jerry Rice. I mean, in the last two games, he's caught just about half of his season total on receptions. He's been very involved, and he's been very involved again here today. And even though his skills have diminished, obviously, in his 20th season here in the NFL, he's got great hands. And that's something that this team has been able to be reliant on.